Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. At some point in the future, people are going to look back and say it was all right there. It was in front of our eyes, and we couldn't recognize it because we were so hyper-focused on politics and the controlled arguments that the media was putting in front of us. We had to divide ourselves up into camps and, in the process, ignored the greatest story of the last 200 years. Now, what you're looking at on your screen are three... C-130s on the ground in Antarctica. There are three of five that took off from New York and transported supplies and troops to Antarctica in the last two weeks. Now, they do this every year. It's Antarctic winter. This particular event, the 500 airmen and the five C-130s, is not different than any of the other years they've gone down here. But the story by itself doesn't usually get very much attention. It's when you take that story and you couple it with this story from 2017. Scientists are closing in on warm caves under Antarctica, which could support secret life. Now, this is Business Insider, not a conspiracy website. This is science fact, not fiction. And I just I don't normally read articles, but this one I'm going to. Australian scientists investigating ice caves under Antarctica's glaciers say they are so warm they could support animals and plants. Around Mount Erebus, an active volcano on Ross Island in Antarctica, steam has hollowed out extensive cave systems. Dr. Sarah Fraser from the ANU Fenner School of Environment and Society says forensic analysis of soil samples from these caves, soil samples from these caves, has revealed, revealed intriguing traces of DNA from algae, mosses, and small animals. 
it can be really warm inside the caves, up to 25 degrees Celsius. For those of you here in North America, that's basically room temperature, maybe a little warmer. You could wear a t-shirt in there and be pretty comfortable. There's light near the cave mouths and light filters deep into some caves where the overlying ice is thin. Most of the DNA found in the caves is similar to DNA from plants and animals found elsewhere in Antarctica, but not all could be fully identified. Now if it were just wind ice rock snow, penguins and seals, and shrimp and fish, don't you think they could have identified all of the DNA? The results from this study give us a tantalizing glimpse of what might live beneath the ice in Antarctica. Live beneath the ice in Antarctica. There might even be new species of animals and plants. She says the next steps will be to take a closer look at the caves and search for living organisms. Now this is an article from Business Insider. Many people label what I've said on YouTube as conspiracy theory or the, the ravings of some crazy guy in Florida. This is fact. It's just the, the type of life that they have allowed to make its way to the public consciousness that I'm debating. Now, here's something a lot of people don't connect with Antarctica. You see an image like this, and everybody automatically goes to their mental camp of what they think it is. If there were a life form living under miles of ice, away from the sun, evolving over a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand years, wouldn't eyes like this, that were nothing but solid pupil, be an asset? to be able to soak in as much light as possible? Because that's what we know about black. Black absorbs heat, absorbs light. White reflects heat, reflects light. This would have been a natural evolution of any species living in the dark. They would be able to take advantage of any tiny amount of light and use it to function. We look at alligator eyes, reptile eyes, serpent eyes, whatever you want to call them, and we automatically associate them with evil. Well, they evolved that way to serve a purpose. Form follows function. Form always follows function. This particular eye is like it is because it can see well at night underwater. Much like cat's eyes, any other animal eyes, they're designed for hunting. We are the only animal, the only species on the face of the planet that have white in our eyeballs. We're the only one. Has no one ever bothered to ask why? Why we would need that giant reflective surface? unlike every other animal on the planet? These are questions that people don't put together. But this idea of heat, this is going to be what reveals what's going on in Antarctica. It will be the heat. It will be the signatures of heat. And when you zoom out on a region like this of Antarctica... And you see areas like this where, for some reason, the snow is just different. And you see it in shapes like this. Perfectly straight, long tunnels that lead to areas like this. Heat will always find its way to the surface. Always. And if there's this exploration going on in these tunnels, what they would need five C-130s full of supplies for, and 500 airmen for every single year, we're going to see evidence of it eventually. This is what the melt is going to reveal. And think about this critically. There is this worldwide, worldwide push for this um, 
this global warming reset type of thing where we want to stop the warming so that um, the melt in Antarctica doesn't occur. Did anyone ever think that maybe there was another reason why? That maybe it's not the, the well-being of the planet that they are so concerned about, but maybe the melt is revealing something in Antarctica that they don't want revealed. That there has been this massive effort down here to cover something up, cover up the greatest secret of the last, I don't know, 300 years, 400 years? This discovery down here? I mean, map makers in the 1500s were charting this reason, region pardon me, in a very different way than we see it now. And I look at an area like this, and most people would just gloss it right over. But guys, when you see all this little weird anomalous stuff on the surface, and you see this nicely cordoned out square area, this is very clearly where some expedition has come to the surface, and there is some attempt to set up either a radio station or some type of communication station. Pardon the blur there for a minute. Whatever they're doing, there's activity on the ice here. Whoever is responsible for it. History has well documented, well documented creatures referred to as demons. Now, what most people don't understand about that word, demon, is that it's a con, it's a contraction of two words. D-E space and M-O-N-D-E. De monde, of the world, or of the earth, or living in the earth. That's where the word demon comes from, as in pandemonium. Pan meaning all of the earth. Many people don't put that together with this. Living this species, this group of people that have, or group of beings, maybe I should say better, that have lived underground for a very long time and have evolved. Now, I'm not saying they're great, wonderful, fantastic humans, but if you look at our current headlines and what's happened down in the south of this country just across the border in the Sonoran Mountains, we're not all that great ourselves, are we? when we have differences over lines on maps and who owns what. You know, it's not going to be the... And I have 70 or 80 pictures now that at the end of the year I'm going to put together. I mean, tell me right here that you don't see that this is clearly some type of a construct to get in and through and under the ice in a safe, controlled way. That is a constructed doorway. But what I was saying before, um, I have 70 or 80 clear as a bell pictures from Antarctica that I could show just one right after the other, right after the other, that there would be no way any psychologist would say that you could have apophenia that many places, that many times, over that many layers in the historical record on Google Earth Pro. They would have, if it were that, they would have gotten rid of it. It's down there. And they have done, if they've done a man, man, pardon me, if they've done a great job of something, what they've done a great job of is getting people to not pay attention to this. Look at this ridge of shadows. Are you telling me honestly this ridge of shadows is just the result of wind, ice, rock, snow, and blowing all by itself? This is just how it shows up. Show me an image like this from the Rocky Mountains, the Himalayas, the Andes. You won't find it. And I guess I'll just leave it there. Like, share, subscribe. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, 
pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tech they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond, Chris.